Welcome to Chat Chow, a weekly online show celebrating the personalities in the food industry. Today we're in the kitchen with CJ's Toffee Talk with head Toffee Talkers, Catherine Hughes and Ellen Perdom. So what are we eating here today? This is almond toffee. Yes. Yummy. Delicious. So tell us your story. How did you guys get started in the coffee business? Well, it's my godmother's recipe. Mm -hmm. And so um, decided to take a family treasure and turn it into a business. Mm -hmm. So I, at my 50th birthday, I was with my friends in Hawaii and uh, deciding what to do next in my life, having been in a successful commercial real estate business for 29 years. So what next we decided toffee <laughs> very cool so for our viewers that have never had toffee how would you describe it <laughs> mm, <delicious. laughs> it's um irresistible really i mean the butter it's soft it doesn't stick to your teeth like traditional a lot of toffee people complain they don't even want to taste it because they're afraid it's going to stick to their teeth so tell us about your name toffee top when we were trying to pick, the name was, we said earlier, was the hardest thing to come up with, but when we uh, finally determined it, it was pretty fun because it was like, let's get together and talk toffee. And that's, right, right. that's what a friend of mine said, that's the name. Yeah. Toffee, toffee Talk. Talk. And we right. talk toffee a lot. <laughs> and when I came aboard, Catherine is my cousin, partner, best friend. We're more like sisters than, oh, than first cousins. Yes. I said, well, I'd like to be your director of social networking. Yeah. This was two years ago. And I didn't even know really what that meant. Yeah. And I didn't know what Twitter was, or I had a Facebook page personally. And so I really sort of self taught myself on yeah. how to tweet and how to Facebook and LinkedIn right, right. and Google Plus. And, right. and our business has really grown through this social networking. Right. And the, and the beauty of the internet, really getting our product out there and spreading the and talking about toffee. Yeah. Right. So you guys make your toffees in small batches. Is that different from how most toffee is made? Yeah, I think, well, I mean, a lot of um, artisan chocolates and caramels and things are made, handmade in small batches, but it, it definitely the integrity of it versus being a manufactured on a line with equipment, it's just extra special. And, you know, it, the taste goes along with that. So you have a product called Crumble Mumble, which is little pieces of toffee. What do you think pairs the best with toffee? What kind of food? Just about anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've had a couple customers that uh, the Crumble Mumble they put on their oatmeal. <laughs> wow, yummy. <laughs> Just a little bit. So the Crumble Mumble is the little bits and pieces, the candies handmade, I mean, made in small batches, hand broken. And right. then the little pieces, we put aside all four flavors, combine them, Mm -hmm. and put them in um, mason jars mm -hmm. and serve it as crumble mumble so it can go on ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is really the best. Cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. So you guys have been winning some great awards lately. Can you tell us about these awards? Mm -hmm. So we were just awarded the um, 2012 one of the top toffees in America. Wow. From the okay. Taste Awards. Very nice. um, we submitted Toffee Talk to um, a panel of about seven or eight very prestigious judges, Ooh. and we were competing with some of the real big name toffees out there that have been in right. business for a long time. And um, we got the word that we were chosen one of the top three, and we just got back from Hollywood from the Taste How Awards. Fun. And it was a real, real honor for us because we were really sort of a newcomer. Last question What do you think it is about desserts that make people so happy, so excited? I don't know, it's something, it's delicious, it's sweet, it right. makes people happy. I think even, um, some people thought I was crazy in a down economy to start a small business. Yeah. And I think we've also learned that people, even if they are having, you know, struggling financially, they'll spend a little bit mo of money to find something that tastes good. There are so many foodies. Oh my yeah. goodness. We have now, we're Definitely. part of a wonderful foodie group. Yeah. And we've met incredible people who are all about artisan products, cheeses, yeah. Yeah. Everything. toffee, <laughs> you name, name it. jams, jellies, everything. Yeah. And so now we're, we're part of a community of people who really take pride in using wonderful ingredients right. 
and we love sharing ideas right. with foodies we meet. Yeah. And um, there's just a whole world out there, and now with the internet, everybody can be a foodie. Definitely. Everybody can treat themselves to a, a wonderful nice. piece of candy. So, can we see you guys making some toffee? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, we are making toffee here yeah. today. We make four flavors, as we said, so today we're making almond, and uh, we'll probably make 80 batches today. Can you tell us what you're doing? Right okay, <laughs> well, I'm making the caramel, and uh -huh. uh, sugar and water, and then as uh, soon as it starts bubbling, then I'll put a lid on it and it will cook for a while. Uh -huh. Just the sugar and water. Really? And then um, once it's cooked, then we add the butter and, uh, and the almonds. You can see here it's starting to turn color and get thicker. And we ch check the thermometer. It needs a little time yet, a few more minutes, probably five more minutes or so. <laughs> and then and once it starts cooking, it can go very, very fast. So yeah. there's, you have to really stay on it or it will burn, which we've all done yeah. at one time or another. And it happens occasionally, but we try not to do that. Then it gets poured out into a baking sheet, and uh, I think they were talking, we were talking about the, uh, it sits for about 15 minutes until it gets cool enough to put the chocolate on. So how much chocolate is that? <laughs> um, it's, it's roughly about two cups. Two cups, okay. And your supplier is? Guitar. Very old, family-owned yeah. chocolatier. What, what is unique about oh. the chocolate? It has a little salt in it. We did a, ta a couple taste tests and used um, the recipe that I learned from my who that one that been my godmother did not use guitar chocolate, but a yeah. friend um, suggested that I try it. Who used to have a candy business? And yeah, it makes a big difference. And then we're ready to sprinkle our nuts on the top. Everybody makes toffee a little different way, you know, based on their family recipe. Voila! Toffee. <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing us.